Hello, and welcome to the CDMS Advisor tutorial for drawing a block boundary. In this tutorial, you will learn how to draw and edit a block boundary. In Advisor, a block is a subset of a field. A field is the largest parcel of land on which you may want to farm as a single unit. The field can be divided into multiple blocks. Some examples of why multiple blocks are used include tracking crops, varieties, and crop destinations. Before you can draw a block boundary, the grower, farm, and field must be set up in Advisor. For information on how to set up growers, farms, and fields, please refer to our other CDMS Advisor tutorial videos on YouTube or contact the CDMS Service Center at 1-866-236-7435. After logging into Advisor, select the Setup button located on the left side of the screen. Then, Fields and Blocks. Confirm that the grower and farm information is accurate. You can select another grower or farm from the drop-down list. The first step to drawing a block boundary is to load the appropriate field. Click on the block slider located on the top right of the screen. Next, check the box beside the desired field. Select the Map tab in the top middle of the screen to display the mapped field. To load an aerial view of the map area, select the Layers icon. Then, click on Imagery. When the field was established, a block of the same size and shape was automatically created. There are several tools available to assist you with editing the block. Available tools include Print, Zoom Area, Zoom In, Zoom Out, Pan, Full Extent, Layers, Clear, Cut, Hole, or Split, and Resize. Select the Clear tool to remove an existing block boundary. Although the tool for drawing a polygon is automatically activated, other drawing tools are available. You can also draw a circle or an ellipse. For this video, we are going to draw a polygon. To draw a polygon, click on an edge of the block perimeter. Continue to click around the boundary of the block. Double-click when done. Notice that the block boundary snaps to the border of the field. A block can only be created within the boundary of the field. The Resize tool is automatically activated. This tool can be helpful in making the shape of the boundary more precise. Notice that each vertex is indicated with a white square. Move, Add, and Remove vertices to change the shape of the boundary. To move a vertex, click on the white square and move it to a new location. Add a vertex by clicking and dragging the boundary. To delete a vertex, double-click on the white square. Press the Accept Changes button after completing any edit. At any time, you can use the Resize tool to make adjustments to the boundary. Once the Resize tool has been activated, there are additional editing tools available. Pan the map area for a better view. By selecting the appropriate tool, the shape can be moved, resized, and rotated. To cancel modifications, press the red circle. The Cut Hole or Split tool can be used to remove a portion of the block. Select the scissor icon. Click on an edge of the area to be removed. Continue clicking around the area. 
Double click when done. When complete, press the Accept Changes button. If desired, you can change the block name by typing in the space provided. Notice that the exact acreage of the drawn block is displayed in the area box. You can change this area by typing the desired acreage in the space provided. Although you can save the block without selecting a fieldman, an assigned fieldman can be entered at this time. If entered, the selected fieldman will populate other areas of the program automatically. To include a fieldman, select a name from the drop-down list. When complete, select the Save button. Additional block boundaries can be drawn in the unoccupied area of the field. At this time, we are going to demonstrate how to draw a second boundary. Select the Add button. Click on an edge of the block perimeter. Continue to click around the boundary of the block. Double click when done. When complete, press the Accept Changes button. If desired, change the block name and acreage. You can select a fieldman from the drop-down list. When complete, select the Save button. You should now be able to draw and edit a block boundary. For additional information or assistance, please refer to our other CDMS Advisor Tutorial videos on YouTube or contact the CDMS Service Center at 1-866-236-7435. This concludes the CDMS Advisor Tutorial for Drawing a Block Boundary. Thank you.